male stand up. The women stand up. The male stand up. Come up to the front. Title to a woman who was created by a devil. Not only that, but in dyslexia, his dog. Okay. Okay. I don't see how black men are being a dog. Right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with QA. I do this in all of my lectures. I'm going to start off with QA and then go straight into the lecture. So, anybody got any questions? Oh, I'll let the women go first. Any women first? Any women? No women? Any men? He hit those lights? Nobody? Well, I, I, oh, somebody just said. I have a question. Um, me and my girl, we were talking about time. And so I said, we're in 2016. And, and if the world is billions of years old, uh, even the Bible say, what, 6,000? Then how is it that we're in 2016? I, mean, I, I can't figure out right. what happened there. Well, who says the world exists? Who said that time exists? When you came into the world, somebody told you that time exists. So therefore, if you don't create your own time, then genetically, you are in somebody else's matrix. I'm talking about your DNA. You are your DNA, your spiritual DNA. Your subconscious creates everything. All the information in your body comes through your subconscious, which is through other portals and dimensions. You are your own universe. So who said the world exists? The word, the, the, left, I mean, the word world is English, right? It's an English word. So what did he call it before the English came? Let's go to the root of it. People come to you and give you the food, but they don't give you the ingredients of what's in the food. And if you don't know the ingredients, you have a large reaction, correct? That's what I was taught, so. Next question. Keep that one. I'm just curious that uh, some of the authors and books you get from here are a lot from. I'm just curious that. Uh, I'm glad you said that. Nature. Now, I, haven't said, I mean, I'm not saying that I haven't read books. But nature is the greatest book. It can't be tampered with. It can't be transliterated. When you study the bird, it can teach you a million things about yourself. Right? Just because we all black don't mean that we are for each other. We can, we're not going to be liberated by being black. The word black, again, is European. It's an English word. What, we, what, were, we, what were we before that? Who wasn't black? Who was spiritual? Right? So nature, that's the greatest book. I'm not going to make it complicated for you. Study nature. Because you are nature. If you debate anything, debate nature. Because you can't lose. Even if nature beats you, that's you winning. So either way, you win. Right? Next question. I got a comment, bro. Go ahead, brother. I've been teaching metaphysics for the last 40 years. You said metaphysics? Yes. All right, go ahead. And, uh, I found out that you was absolutely on point. Uh, everything is based on a sense of agreement. When you, and I, and, and I give a similar on Sunday, and I tell the brothers and sisters that the greatest knowledge and education you'll ever learn from the time you come here, from the time you ascend, is who you are. That is the greatest enigma ever. That's right. And when you understand that, and my father shared with me, and he really believed it in his heart. He believed that there's no such thing as death. When you so when he shared in in language term that that death is the best thing ever happened to a man. Because everything that we participate on this plane, we in a mighty prison prison. And the only way you break free is to get out of this prison. That's 
why they call it my cup of dinner. Right. So I'm only excited to be here to uh, uh, give a queen sister she invited me, and I do make sure that you is on point right. based on the dog that was cut from that right. and that the face of the dog that was cut. Right. Well, it goes beyond that. Yes. Right now, we have the universe is giving us information by way of a ship. And we are the universe that's creating that shit. Absolutely. And we have DNA that has been asleep inside of us. Somebody asked me, where do you get your conscious? I was conscious before I came out of my mother's womb. Absolutely. But when they introduced me to systems, that's, that's when everything was put to sleep. And the Bible said the lion is asleep in Judah, right? So I know what the nation's talking about. I know secret anymore. The lion that's asleep in Judah is the melody. We haven't seen real melody yet. Conscious music said we got melody that's in that. Even white man got melody. But what type of melody do, melody do we have that they don't have? That's what we can Supernatural melody. Let me, let me just, let me just say this right here. <laughs> Study just showed that the more stress that we have on our neural melanin, we produce a gas that lets off into the atmosphere and it's heating up the earth. Not them, us. So when they talk about global warming, which is going to go into a little while, they're speaking in code about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's more deeper than that. It's all about you. It's all about you. It, it has nothing to do with titles or nothing like that because we came to the world without a title. And we're going to leave the world without a title. Why would you want to become something that was created inside of the illusion? Let me just, let me just add to you real quick. And I also tell the brother and sister that whenever you acquire this plan, you so called transcend and not going with you. All the education, all the books, all the knowledge, the only thing that's going with you is one thing. Discover who you are. Self discovery. That's right. That's the right. That's the information. That's who you are. You are information from physical body. You are energy. Information never dies. It goes on to the next life with you. You may have existed in a past life before, right? And a fragment of you that didn't come back into your body when you were dreaming in your past life may travel into this life and with the person that you married to now. So you're not actually marrying yourself. You're marrying a part of you that existed in a past life. That's how it goes. We recycle. Energy recycles. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, next question. You can't identify family and kinship by physical bloodlines. Right. Because you're not physical. You're spiritual. We all come from different planets. This is where the zodiacs come from. They only give you 1% of astrology when they tell you your sun sign. But we all have a tribe that we come from spiritually. So this is why black people is killing each other. Other than some of the social engineering that's going on in the community. But other than that, we were enemies in the past life. We fought in the underworld. When we, some of us, when we leave here, we're going to the underworld to fight. We're not just fighting here. You get what I'm saying? We're worried about the damn white man. That cracker, he has no, he has no life past the third dimension. They are getting stuck in the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is really not past the third. It's here. It's opening up now. You get what I'm saying? So the time, so when you, when you study the time shifts and the time zones, these are different planets and dimensions. When you go to Africa, this is where the equator is. The equator is your mother and father. Why? Because it gives birth to every sun, all of the binary suns that you see that come into existence. And what are the binary signs? That is your DNA. This is the dream world. We're going to go into that tonight, too, as well. Uh, and going into the dream world, like, I 
I had a dream, you know, this is Atlanta, so, and they say New Atlanta, I feel Atlantis is coming back. And then what I had a dream about going through Atlantis, even though they tried to brought my dreams and did faith on the pressure, you see that? Right. I'm a soldier. That's right. Uh, and they trying to they trying to take me down, man, with medicine, try, trying to trap me in their round, 13th floor, 13th heaven, mm -hmm. that's they heaven. That's right. But it's a hell, they trying to make it a hell for right. me, but. Yeah. No matter what they do, no matter what they do, you can't stop this shit. I don't care how many guns you get. See, I've grown myself. If you have to follow me on YouTube, I used to want to get a, a gun and go kill white people. Every time I saw a bunch of them, I'm shot down. The nieces, right. all that super right. So the thing is, so the thing is this right here. I've grown to know that if I'm not the physical, why am I trying to better myself in the physical? When the universe is going to do that for me, why have to do nothing? All you do is sit back and let the universe do its job. Okay, you like watching. You know, because they're, the third ventricle of the brain of the European is shutting down. This is why they're killing people on basic operating pay. Because they don't know what's going on with them. They're trying to figure out what's going on with them. And so now what they do is they kidnap a young black woman. Because the black woman has the type of melanocyte that has an alkaloid in it that helps the uterine wall of that white woman, which is the children of reptilians from the West Coast. We're going to that tonight, too. To, for the egg to hold on to the uterine wall. Well, so... This is, it's, it's all about you. They want, they want you to think that the war is physical, but it's not. They're attacking you through energy. You see these power lines out here? They can press a button and all of y'all will stop moving while you're screaming black power. Fuck the white man. Black power. Let's love everybody. Let's kill everybody. No, they can push a button and you're through. But what if, what if we can learn how to control energy, though, with our mind? Because this is what's happening. The new melanin that's coming, we have a fifth coat, coat of melanin that's coming into our pineal gland. And the birds has it already. They can detect floods and hurricanes three days um, before it can hit. Why can't we do it? Are we supposed to be over nature? That's right. You say we black, we gotta stand for each other. But do you see the crow and the eagle standing with each other, screaming black power, bird power? They don't even know they're birds. <laughs> we gave them a damn name. Animals, they laugh at us. We're disgraced to them. You know why? We always screaming black power. The white man, he, he knows that that right there is the lowest of the low. You know that you're not operating on spirituality when right. y'all here doing that shit? Right. You don't care about just screaming black power, putting up no military. And I had to be United States of Africa, so what I do is I had to go back to the drawing table. So now it's a spiritual war. I'm going to be teaching people how to reach out her energy, how to fight with energy using your mind. Because my information comes from the dreams, not from a university. You're not going to go to a university and get the information that I'm talking about. They're not talking about the dream world. Hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. They're not talking about the dream world and the seven gates in your university. The universe is a city, so I call it universe city. That's our school, right? The sun, the moon, and the stars, my Muslims in the room. <coughs> you really don't know what you're doing. When you wear those logos, it's not just a damn logo. This is real. This is inside of your body. Your cells, your heart, and your brain. Sun, the moon, and the stars. Your brain and the moon connect every time there's a blood moon. The blood moon is the birth of new information. Not to you, but to the entities that live in your body. You have other people that live in your body right now. And the government knows how to tap into those entities in your body to make you go crazy. To put your babies in the microwave. You running off the road. Now on the holidays, you're killing each other. It ain't you doing it. It's those other entities that they know about in your body that you can't get in tune with. That's doing it. 125th Street, they want to talk about how old we are. We built the pyramids. You want that to do shit. Name one person in Kemet that you know that built one of those pyramids. Name one. Then I roll with you. I didn't come here today to talk about that. Because it's not saving us. We can debate all day. But it's not going to get us anywhere. But soon, soon, if I come in here to debate anybody today, if I come and debate Sadie, Polite, or anybody, which would not be a, a, a debate to me, but what I'm saying, if I come and debate anybody today, when I go back up that door, guess what? They still gonna push them buttons, and the next holiday, we still gonna be killing each other. So we have to get black power here first. Because everybody's destiny is not your destiny. There's a reason why your fingerprint and your fingerprint and your fingerprint is different from your mother's fingerprint. Your fingerprint represents your destiny. It's not just to identify you. They use that against you for classification. They tell you, well, this is how we identify you. No, your fingerprint plays a big part in your spirituality. It tells you what bloodline you come from. You get what I'm saying? Any other questions? Go ahead. How do you discover what bloodline you come from? The 
blah, blah. All right, I'm going to go into that tonight. But it, I, I have to get a chart and show it to you because the, the time that we're on here in the matrix that we are conditioned by is not the real time. So we have to alter that by a few eons, a couple of hundred eons. And then we have to base that upon um, the way that you've been. Their time that you were born, and then we have to actually base that upon a couple of eons going backwards to Sagittarius A. Sagittarius A is the first star planet where dark matter, which is dark energy, which is carbon, which is melanin, which is you, this is where you come from. So this is how you base that. We'll get into that tonight. And see me after. If anybody want that chart read, see me after yeah. the lecture. We'll get into it. Mm -hmm. um, how does Power is a kinship to melanin. A certain type of melanin. It's a lower form of melanin. We have three types, uo, theo, and neuro melanin. We have all three, plus we have the nanocyte. Now, copper is something that helps to dissect negative energy. It's the opposite of energy. Even, even though you have a negative side, it can be more useful to you at times than your positive side. If somebody comes to smack you right now, you're going to have to deflect that energy by smacking them back. That's the law of mathematics, right? <laughs> You don't sit there and say, I'm going to let go pray to God when Jesus comes. Because I guarantee you, your child fell off right now and started having a seizure. And you say, oh, Jesus, come help. That child will sit right there and die. Or it's going to continue to have that seizure or that convulsion. So you want to have to do it. And this is what we are doing today. We sit back and we are looking for something to save us when everything that we need is inside of ourselves. Nature will not distribute you into a dimension without you having what you need in that dimension that you're going into. First and foremost, you must know that. Even when you handicap, it gives you everything you need. Because a lot of us that's here, a fragment of us is in the next life, handicapped with autism. And they like, what's wrong with them? But little did they know, you here, and we think that this is normal. We are actually handicapped right now. They are your normal parts. See, it's flip-flop. If you go to an autistic child, they delve into two dimensions at the same time. This is why their physical strength is more higher than a person who is not autistic. You get what I'm saying? Because their brain has 30% 30, 30 more electrons composed within their neurological system 